Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So I finally got in my new set of lower anvils for the English wheel, and that means I can finally start fabricating these aluminum body panels for the car here. I've been kind of nervous of starting this process because I've never worked with sheet metal like this before, so it's been a learning experience. I don't really know how things are going to turn out, but so far it's been going pretty well. In this video, I'm going to rough out the panels for the three-piece hood and the cow section back here. So, enjoy the video.
All right, well, as you can tell, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing with this stuff. Like I said, this is my first time ever working with aluminum sheet metal like this, so I really had no idea how this whole process was going to go, and I didn't know if it was going to turn out well at all. Um, but so far, it's been coming along very nicely. Most of the work is still in actually fitting these panels and welding them together, and then mounting them to a subframe. Um, but as you can see, they've been roughing out um, very fast, actually. This is all in about three days of work or so. And I think that part of the reason that this has been going so fast here at the beginning is because the only compound curve I've done so far is in this section right here, right above the steering wheel. Um, as you can see, this is kind of has a slight bend this way as well as um, here. Everything else is just a single direction curve. And that's why you saw I had the rubber band around the English wheel. What that does is it only bends the metal in perpendicular to the direction you're wheeling it. And that's helpful for things like the hood because I don't want that to have any arch to it. I just want it to nicely wrap around um, that wooden buck right there. So I was using that rubber band for almost all the panels here except for this right here. When, I, when you use just the steel panels, it will, it will bend the metal in both ways. What you do is you start in the middle and then you work out from there. You saw I drew some rectangles on here, so that's why I was using as reference to kind of guide me as I was wheeling it along. I'd start in the smallest rectangle, then wheel the next biggest and the next biggest and just work my way out. And what that does is it stretches the metal in the middle more than the outside it, and, it, and it causes it to kind of bow out in the middle. And that's how you get those compound curves. I'm probably not going to rough out the whole body like this before mounting it down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this front section um, mostly, mostly fitted together and then I'll mount this down to a subframe. I'll build a steel frame underneath these panels to actually mount this to. And then once I have the front all solid, then I can start moving to the back because making that boat tail, that whole thing is one giant compound curve and that's going to be a, a lot more work than these mostly flat panels up here. So anyways, that's where I am with this project right now. I'm super excited to finally start making these aluminum panels here. Um, I hope you enjoy watching it. I know a lot of the stuff has kind of looked like the same thing. It's just been a rolling chassis forever. But hopefully now you can start to see what I envision this car looking like. Also, if you aren't aware, um, I do have an Instagram channel. It's called Macro Machines with two spaces in between. Um, so if you want to kind of an early update to what the next video is going to be like, give it a follow and you can see um, what I'm working on more in real time because sometimes the videos take a few days to actually edit and then put out. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.